grabbed my hand when I was trying to grab him. He grabbed my hand and bit down, bro. Like he bit down on my hand. He bit me like a damn dog, like legit. Like bite marks in my skin and everything. Like I was just so like shocked and like confused. Like he didn't even hit me. He bit me, bitch. Melody Al May and I am back with another Banger Baby. And as you guys can see by the title description, I will be doing a full Fenty face. Thank you, Riri, for getting all of these products. If you guys haven't tuned in my last few vlogs, I just posted a skincare video of me trying Rihanna's new Fenty skin. Fire, y'all. Like, I have been using that skincare system for about a month now. Y'all, look at my skin. Like, just get into my skin right now. This is the left side. This is the right. My forehead. Everything is just clear like this honestly is the best skin that I've ever had in a long time like I haven't experienced any breakouts even my dark spots that I had for like the longest are fading away but I wanted to make this video because I purchased a lot of Fenty products including her skincare but I also purchased a lot of makeup so I wanted to do this video to give you guys the vibes of how I would do my full Fenty face this will be kind of like a get ready with me type of story time talk so I'm gonna make sure that I bring you guys every step it is getting kind of cold in LA. I'm kind of excited about dressing a little bit warmer. I just threw on this outfit that I got from Fashion Nova. Super cute. So get into it. Thumbs up if you guys like this video. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and join the May Baby family as well as smashing that notification bell so you May Babies can keep up whatever vlogs that I post. Okay my May Babies. I just got done washing my face. I'm trying not to mess up my edges but it looks like they already messed up so I'm going to have to them but that's neither here nor there. Now I'm going to go in facial roller i've used like this big part for the bigger areas of my face like my cheekbones and my forehead and like around my nose and my mouth and i go in an upwards motion i honestly don't even know what this does but it's very <laughs> i guess it tightens your skin and like reduces the aging process and promotes elasticity in your skin and it's very cooling too like this stone is very cooling and very smooth I guess it's formulated for your face, but the smaller stone I use for smaller areas like underneath my eyes and I always go in upwards motion. Just like that, now we're about to moisturize. <laughs> okay, my baby babies, as you can see by my face, my face is getting dry. I have very normal to dry skin combination. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Fenty Skin at Laura Serum and my Hydrovisor Moisturizer real quick before I get into this makeup routine. I've been sitting here thinking about what I'm going to talk about and y'all seem like y'all super interested in my love life and my past relationship so I wanted to make sure that I tell a story time about my relationships that I've gone through in high school and those younger girls who are watching can probably take note and learn from my past mistakes so I think that would be the perfect story time for my get ready with me routine for this Fenty Beauty tutorial I guess. So you guys let's get into the story time. As I moisturized my face my very first boyfriend ever I met my freshman year of high school. I had boyfriends before then but like they weren't like serious boyfriends. I was very boy crazy y'all. I'm not gonna lie me and my best friend BB we used to be dating guys like meeting at Brunswick but we never got into anything real serious or did anything we weren't really supposed to do. We did stuff we weren't supposed to do but y'all get what I mean. I'm gonna brush out my eyebrows first. Y'all this is my very first get ready with me so bear with me. I see many YouTubers do this type of stuff and I was like y'all I got so much stuff that I can share that I haven't really like talked about so this is your my baby's chance to get to know me on a more personal level. I'm going to use my eyebrow brush and I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows. I took St. Beige advice on trying to keep my eyebrows kind of shaped up somewhat. As y'all know Rand ain't got no it brow which she probably should come out with next but as for now I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills it brow pomade and the color chocolate and I'm using this little spoolie with this thing on the end. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial so as you guys can see my makeup routine really changes as I go. I like to try different things so that's why I want to see video but to get back in the story with me and my very first boyfriend how we met y'all it was crazy i literally just got out of my palms practice and he was on the football team at the time and i was a freshman y'all in high school that was at the time i actually realized like i'm kind of cute you know and like boys started to try to talk to me and like 
try to get my number and stuff. But I never really like took them serious until I met this guy. So how we met, like I said, I was just getting out of Tom's practice at the time. And he was just getting off of football practice. And we had to take this after school bus. I ended up missing my bus. Because I missed my bus, this is how I met this guy. Like if I would have just got on that bus. But it's all right. You know what, everything happens for a reason. I missed the bus and I met him and he didn't tell me one, he had a girlfriend. <laughs> Two, he was a senior in high school. He literally had no business talking to me. And he just didn't tell me three that he was a fuck boy. Long story short, we dated for a long time y'all. From my freshman year all the way up to my junior year of high school. I got made fun of literally my whole entire high school career for dating this guy. But pause the story real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get into my Fenty Beauty Primer. This is actually the Pro Filter Insta Recut Primer base. So let's get into this primer. Yo, my skin just sucked that up. I feel like I need to put on some more. It feels like lotion when I put it on too. Like it's not white like usual primers are. And it smells so good. And it's not too much fragrance. That's how you know it's really good ingredients. So, like I said, we were together for a very long time. During that time, so much stuff happened. First off, like I said, this is my very first boyfriend ever. So I never had to deal with exes. I never had to deal with drama, cheating, all of that. Of course, he introduced me to all that. Y'all, so, I'm over here trying to look for my Benny Beauty concealer and I cannot find it. But to be honest, I like this concealer better anyway. Only because of the color, not because of more so the texture. I guess I bought the wrong Benny Beauty concealer because it came out more yellow kind of orangish and i just didn't like it so i'm just gonna use my pro concealer to conceal my eyebrows while i finish telling y'all this story yeah long story short he had a girlfriend him and his girlfriend were going through problems while i guess he met me so he thought it was okay to get my number and stuff and just move on prior to breaking up with the girl she eventually found out who i was and she hated my guts y'all like the whole time this three years that we were together me and this girl were going back and forth and i so regret it because i didn't know then like it was him the whole time that was playing us against each other i thought it was her who just couldn't let go bitch i literally had to learn my lesson the hard way because i was the one who ended up with a dude who was just a cheater and looking back as soon as i found out about her i should have let the whole situation go but you know what you gotta go through the things you gotta go through so you can learn forward and i learned my lesson with him during that relationship i've learned so much maybe that's why i'm single now because i've dated young like i started dating when I was like 14, 15 years old, like freshman in high school. I was like super in love and it just took me a while to get over that guy cause he just broke my heart. Like that was like legit my first heartbreak y'all. I remember going in my room listening to Donnie Hathaway and everything y'all like I needed to go through that. Like I said in my past videos, every time I break up or I wanna get over somebody or the guy that I'm with, the fastest way that I can get over them is move on with somebody else and have somebody else take my mind off that person that I'm trying to get over. Of course, I was like, let me go out to a party. I was a junior in high school. My mom was overprotective my whole life. And I was at that point, my junior year of high school, where I started to really rebel. And like, I just didn't come home. <laughs> I just didn't come home. Like, my mom said no to everything. So at this point, I just didn't come home. I just stayed over my friend's house, went out to parties, like did what I wanted to. Cause my mom wouldn't let me drive the car and I couldn't go nowhere anywhere. And every time I asked her, I was getting good grades and doing what I was supposed to do. Like I was honestly too busy for dudes cause I was on the comms team and I was like the captain and I was doing stuff there. I really didn't have time to date. I just really wanted my mom to trust me. And she was not going for anything I was saying. Like I kept on telling her, mom, you raised me right. Like I know how to make good decisions. Just trust me. The answer was always no. <laughs> So I guess at the point in my life where I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it anyway. Like, what can she do? She can't put me on punishment. I'm about to go to college soon. It's almost my senior year. So I just started to rebel, y'all. So I just finished my eyebrows. I'm about to go in with this Fenty foundation that I'm gonna use on my face. Just make my eyelid more color so I can set my eyes, so I can get my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to just literally use the tiniest bit of product just so I can coat that eyelid. So anyway, guys, I met future boyfriend number two at a party that I snuck off to one of my coworkers at the time. I worked at Cold Stone Hall. I worked my way up to assistant manager at the age of 17. <laughs> at the age of 17, y'all. I really worked there day and night. I'm sorry, y'all, if I'm talking in a circle. But let's get into this eyeshadow, y'all. Like, ooh, whoo. This is the new Fenty Beauty Moroccan 5 palette. This is what the palette looks like, y'all. I clearly started using it. I'm wearing this little black romper thing, so I want to do a little bit more on my eyes. I'm gonna do the blue. Fuck it, I'm gonna do the blue, y'all. Let's get into the blue eyeshadow. So I'm gonna 
first start with my Fenty Beauty Beijan Grow. Beijan Grow. I can never pronounce it. But this is the bronzer, y'all. I'm gonna get into the bronzer first for my eyeshadow. I'm gonna use one of my Fenty Beauty brushes. I don't know what this is called. I'm gonna start in with the outer corner of my eye. Start carving out that eye bone. I don't even know what to call it. Like my brow bone. So I can like really just start to contour my eyes. I really just like that base of contour just to make my eyes kind of really pop rather than just putting on the color right away. So you can kind of see the difference from this side to this side. Yeah, it's just like that subtle difference. And then we're I'm gonna go straight into the blue eyeshadow after this. I'm gonna go into Evil Genie. It's called Evil Genie. I'm gonna go into this Evil Genie right here. I'm gonna not try to get messy. I usually use tape, but I'm gonna show y'all another trick size to tape for your eyeshadow. Oh shit, I can use such a Y'all, I'm messing up on this. I go into my Honey Pro Filter Powder in the shade Honey. I'm gonna set my eyes, y'all. I honestly forgot to set my eyes. So I'm gonna set my eyes and then do that contour again. And then I'm gonna go with my blue eyeshadow. Use very little powder for this part because you don't want it to get too messy. So I just pat that in there just to mattify that contour. And I'm gonna do the other eye. And this part is really just to mattify your eyes. So when you put on that powder, it like pops more. I learned that this way is way more easier. And then I'm gonna go on my Bajan gel. Go back into her. Okay, y'all. So now that we got that step, I'm finally gonna go into my eyeshadow so it can be more pigmented. Always start at the end and just like really like just pat it in rather than rubbing it in so it can actually be more pigmented and less dense. Yeah, like I said, I met this guy at a party that I had no business even going to in the first place. That's crazy that I met these guys in predicaments where I wasn't even supposed to be there in the first place. And honestly, like, this relationship was way better than the first one. It was ironic because i never seen him a day in my life. And he's always went to my high school. He was on the same football team as my ex-boyfriend, which my ex-boyfriend wasn't happy about. He was just the sweetest, y'all. Like, I was over there every day. Me and his mom were super close. His mom really wanted me to be the one so bad. He loved to cook. He loved to cater to me hand and foot. Like, he was a good boyfriend. I'm not gonna lie. He had some really good times. We argued over stupid stuff. Like, Every year, I would give him a birthday gift for his birthday, and every year, I would take that shit right back and get my money back, because <laughs> we always get into it. And even on my birthday, he will always make me cry on my birthday, or fuck up, or not give me nothing. Like, I remember one time, my grandfather had bought me some Beyonce tickets, or I think it was him or my grandfather, had bought me some Beyonce tickets. It was my senior year of high school, so I gotta figure out what tour that was, but it was a Beyonce tour. And he know I love Beyonce, so he got me Beyonce tickets, y'all. We got super cute. We got a rental car and everything we plan on staying in a hotel that night we didn't even plan on going back home and y'all when we got to that concert they could not find our ticket <laughs> he bought the wrong tickets y'all he bought the tickets for the georgia dome instead of the chicago dome i don't know what the hell it was called then but he bought the damn wrong tickets so i really wanted to break up with him that day because <laughs> you don't play with my beyonce like anyway that was just the stupid stuff we argued over and like the dumb mistakes that he made but it was never like serious enough to like to break up I feel like I genuinely did love him. We were together for about two years after me and my first boyfriend broke up. Like literally, we got together. Like within that same month, me and my ex broke up. I had a new boyfriend. We were in love. I really saw this dude cry over me and everything. Like I knew this dude really loved me. Even to this day, like nobody really catered to me like he did. Like he was a really good boyfriend until he turned crazy. Let me tell y'all. So when you're in love, it makes you do some crazy stuff. If you all haven't tuned into the first relationship vlog that I posted, I told y'all a little bit about my background. After my very first boyfriend, my second boyfriend, I was with him. And then I went to college and I forgot about him. That's literally how it happened. So I was like, as y'all know, my mom was super overprotective. So as soon as I went to college, that was my free pass to just go and live my best life, right? So you know what I did? I went to live my best life. When I went off to college, I did not break up with him. I will never forget the day before I left, I was at his house and I was crying so hard because I did not want to leave him. I wanted him to come with me. He was not a college type of guy. Like he was like, go live your life. So him saying live my best life, I really did live my best life, y'all. When I went to college, it was a whole another set of niggas that I had to deal with like that I wasn't used to in high school, y'all. I was going to parties and I was just very flirty. Like I was single in my mind to me and I wasn't really communicating with him as much as I wanted to so I honestly forgot about him and I was living my best life in college. Now I'm about to get into this Fenty Beauty foundation. This is going to be a shake well. This is in the 
shade 380. I literally looked on their website and I just put my finger up next to it, like my knuckle, to see if it matched. And honestly, it matches pretty decent. It's a little bit darker than I expected. If you guys are looking for a more full coverage foundation, this is definitely not what you would be looking for. Like I usually use the Maybelline Fit Me, but this is more sheer as you guys can see. You definitely have to apply this way more than one time on your face to get that more full coverage look. But this foundation I would recommend for those who definitely want to give the illusion that they're not wearing any makeup. It's very translucent foundation. So you're going to have to apply a lot to get that full coverage look for sure. But as I apply this, I'm going to tell y'all about how I met my next boyfriend. So I met my next boyfriend at this party that me and my roommates went to. He was super cool. We were honestly just friends. Like we were just friends. Like we haven't even did anything like kiss or date or like even tell each other that we like each other. Like we were legit good ass friends. Like he was there for me. He knew I had a boyfriend. Literally I had pictures of my boyfriend at the time pasted all over my wall in my dorm room. So any dudes who ever so happened to come over, they would know that I have a boyfriend. He knew I had a boyfriend and we were just legit friends. And this crazy ass dude, bro, he popped up at my college dorm room. He popped up at my college dorm room, y'all. And he seen a boy standing there in my room, fully clothed. We were fully clothed, okay? Like he just went crazy. Like he didn't like fight the guy or anything. He just went off on me and like just called me all type of liars and said I was cheating on him. When I really was not, I was actually doing pretty good. Besides being flirty, I wasn't cheating on him. I never cheated on him. Even though I mentally checked out of the relationship, I still like knew in the back of my head. I still love this guy. I still wanna be with this guy or see how this works out. I'm about to conceal my face right now with the same concealer, y'all. So like I said, I'm still like arguing with this guy, begging him to be with me and they're forgiving me even though I didn't do anything wrong but it looked bad and I understood it looked bad so I was just still kind of pleading my case this dude y'all he took my laptop and this is before I even thought about having a vlog but I needed this laptop for school so he was literally about to take my laptop and throw it on the ground and break it literally I screamed to him I was like if you break my shit you gonna buy it <laughs> he stopped himself that's when he grabbed my weed y'all like this is when I really started to getting into wearing weeds and putting on makeup so I had bought my very first freaking weed and that stuff was expensive. It was like literally like $390 to get it shipped and like everything. And this is like some wet and wavy weed, y'all. And didn't even install it yet. This dude, y'all, he took my wet and wavy weed and ran to the bathroom. He ran to the bathroom, y'all. And I'm trying to grab him, trying to stop him and tell him like, no, stop, stop. This dude grabbed my hand when I was trying to grab him. He grabbed my hand and bit down bro like he bit down on my hand he bit me like a damn dog like legit like bite marks in my skin and everything like i was just so like shocked and like confused like he didn't even hit me he bit me bitch i was just in shock as he bit me and like as soon as he bit me i was just like standing there like holding my hand like did this nigga really just bite me and y'all he ran to the toilet and flushed my feet down the toilet y'all and that's how you know what's gonna leave because it just flushed so smooth <sighs> Oh, my heart just dropped out of my chest. I was like, oh yeah, it's over with. This dude is crazy. Like this, I gotta let this dude go. I remember kicking him out of my dorm room. Like literally had to call security. I remember just crying that whole night, just holding my hand, like waking up that next morning, just seeing the bite marks still in my damn hand. And like just in disbelief that he would ever hurt me. I was just like, wow, like it was really over. Honestly, that was like the first time a guy actually physically hurt me. Like I said, he didn't hit me. But at the same time, that's still like, like abusive like as fuck like you know i knew in my head that i should never like go back to him basically that was the end all be all with that bite and that weed flushing down the toilet and y'all let me tell y'all the story doesn't even end right there so the next day the whole entire bottom floor under me floods they had to bust out the pipes and pull out like freaking weed bro my weed flooded the whole entire floor underneath me and everybody knew it was me but y'all this is how y'all know those white girls that i was with was solid as hell like they did not say it was me that i did not get in any trouble nobody knew or like nobody was notified about me being the whole reason that the whole floor damn near drowned so thank you isu white girls for holding it down for me so i just finished putting all the foundation and my concealer on now i'm about to go into my fenty beauty honey pro filter powder so i can set my face like i said i'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion i've used this powder before I'm not such a big fan of this powder, especially like the flashback. I like using it on the bottom side of my face, but not so much underneath my eyes. So I'm literally just gonna use the bare minimum today just to show y'all because this is the full Fenty Beat. I'm literally just using the bare minimum underneath my eyes so it doesn't get that like patchy yellow thing that I usually get. Hopefully I don't mess this up. I start on the bottom and use all that product on the bottom. So whatever's left, I just put it on the top. 
bright in these creases and my forehead and literally that's it and i'm literally just patting in my powder like i don't bake with this because it is gonna leave some weird lines i pat in all this product and y'all already know the next step take this product off my lips now that i put in all my powder and my foundation and everything i'm gonna set my face and then i'm gonna begin my contour i had totally forgot to put on my cream blush honestly i'm scared because this is the first time that i've ever used this after i just put on powder so we're gonna see how this works but i'm gonna put on the bare minimum of this blush i'm gonna smile so i can see where my smile is that's it hmm. honestly it wasn't too bad as i thought now we're really gonna go into this contour i'm gonna use this brush i didn't buy the fenty contour brush because i gotta get more coins but i'm going to use this cute mirror that fenty beauty actually sent me along with buying i guess dollars or more product but it's not this little cute it's a little dirty but i'm going to go ahead back into my bejean gal my bejean gal contour like i said y'all my white girls was solid in that time when my boyfriend at the time came down and the size that crazy and it's honestly surprising because my whole life i've been raised in a pretty diverse setting like a good mix between everybody but it wasn't until college where i realized that i was a minority when i actually witnessed real racism i was the only black girl in my suite i remember these little white girls on my floor were asking how does it feel to have sex with a black guy they would tell me like oh you're pretty for a black girl or your hair is not like usual black girl the worst scenario where i have to deal with racism in my dorm room my freshman year of college at I guess you with when these white girls put on these little clay masks that turn black and they came to me and my friend Jamal was a black cheerleader and it was like look we're like you and Jamal in what world is that shit funny like so I just found it really surprising that white girls actually stood up for me when my ex-boyfriend put my weave down the toilet like they didn't snitch or anything probably just spoke but that basically ended our relationship I just thought he was just a crazy ass dude I didn't have to deal with that like I was at a point in life where I was in college I had all these guys trying to pursue me and you know who I feel for y'all my best friend and how everything just hit off I couldn't even tell you for those who are watching or in college and a freshman you have that guy who just like doesn't want to leave follows you everywhere just wants all your attention even though the guy that I was with super sweet like to this day he's just a sweetheart I just wish that I would have played it way more cool because as soon as I broke up with my boyfriend I gave that dude a chance like I said I like distraction and he was in my face every day and he was just there for me so we literally started dating which pissed off my boyfriend I just broke up with even more because he was like oh so you dating a dude that I just caught you in your room with so you was cheating on me this whole time basically and I just had to like protect my energy after a certain amount of time and I was you know what if people think i'm a liar or people think that i'm a cheater it's okay sis like you know your heart and you know your intentions and if i know that i did not cheat on him then what's the point of me arguing with you what's the point of me wasting my time and energy trying to explain something to you when i don't really care anymore so i let that go and i was with boyfriend number three for like two years he was the guy who really helped me find myself like really dig into my abilities and pull out my potential because i really did not have any type of plan or any type of ideas of what I wanted to do in life until he just pulled it out of me and it was like that's when I realized I wanted to get out of ISU and actually go to HBCU try out for the dancing doll he was there for me throughout that whole process like with moving he even visited me when I'm ooh I don't like my eyebrows ooh I hate it fuck no it's too thick why don't y'all tell me I fucked up my eyebrows uh uh y'all I never do this what is happening hold on y'all I gotta stop talking to this part I've been talking too much <laughs> but anyway when I had moved out of Baton Rouge I was really still in love with this guy. He still came to Louisiana to visit me and stuff. We were still going strong for like a whole year after I moved. There was not any significant thing that made us break up besides the distance, y'all. Distance is really real. When you're not around that person 24-7, that really shows how much you love the person if you still think about them and if you still want to be with them. That just shows how much you love them. I really thought I was really head over heels with this guy until I wasn't around him 24-7. And I had just basically built a whole new life for myself. I wasn't the same person that was that freshman that you followed around the whole entire time you know I, I became my own self my own woman I just wanted to have different experiences I knew in my mind I didn't want to get married to this guy I honestly mentally checked out from the relationship after that it's not like I dated other guys I'm gonna tell y'all the truth I got a job at Hooters y'all my junior or sophomore year at Hooters on my off season all the dolls used to work at the Hooters down the street from Southern one of the managers was a doll so I kind of got a plug in because I was a doll so I worked at Hooters and this is where I met my ex-boyfriend now. Literally, let me tell you. 
know how we met. I was doing my regular shift, still with boyfriend number three, but pause on the story. I'm gonna go ahead and do my under eye with this blue. I'm gonna do just the smallest bit underneath here and connect it to my outer corner of my eye. And I'm using this little small brush right here, as you can see. And I'm just doing my under eye, getting into my waterline too. Woo! My eyes always water when I do this, but it's so cute. It just makes your eyes more popping. Ooh! Y'all, that part is intense. I have to be quiet for that part. So. Next, I'm going to put on my eyelashes. I always put on my mascara right now. Fenty does not have any mascara, so I'm gonna use this Kush Mascara by Milk. Makeup by Milk. I usually use Better Than Sex Mascara, but my coin, the way they're set up. I'm literally just gonna put on my mascara, then put on this hair glue on my lashes and put on my lashes. So let's get into this story. So how me and my ex-boyfriend at the time met at the Twitter that I was working at. This is my first time that I worked my very first double shift ever. It was such a long day like it was super busy i worked at the hooters on college if you guys live in baton rouge louisiana you guys know which hooters i'm talking about i worked the back section towards the back of the restaurant at that time so i was like at the booth by the wall so i like literally could get a view of the whole entire restaurant who was coming in so when i was getting off i remember i felt somebody talking about me like you know when you have a feeling that somebody's talking about you i seen a guy pointing at me i didn't really look like turn around and look but i felt it and i seen it off the corner of my eye like i was walking past and they was this way and i saw a guy pointing at me the guy next to him literally turned his head i didn't really see his faces i just saw two guys and i seen the guy point and i seen the other guy kind of turn his head but i didn't really look and see the details of their face because like i said i saw them off the corner of my eye so in the back i was checking out getting all my tips whatever and i was clocking out ready to go about to leave i was just about to walk out the door and i'm still in waitress mode so whenever i hear excuse me ma'am can you call me real quick i of course go back into waitress mode and i'm I'm looking at his face and I'm like, yes, what can I help you with? And I'll never forget what he said. He was just like, I've been watching you this whole time that you've been walking around here. He said something like that. He was like, I've been watching this whole time and I just wanted to know if you have a second just to talk to me. And I'm like, shit. Yes. Well, of course I didn't say it like that. I was playing it way more smooth, but hold on y'all. Let me put on this lash first and then I'm gonna tell y'all. <laughs> okay, y'all, that was a struggle, but I finally have on my lashes. And I don't think that I'm gonna put on any liner. If I do, maybe the bare, bare minimum. But right now I'm about to put on my lip liner and finish telling y'all how he and I ex met. So he persuaded me to sit down next to him. At the time, I was only 20, so I was not necessarily supposed to be drinking. By the way, this is just a regular brown lip liner. And I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty. I love this gloss. This is the Fenty Glow Gloss. It's literally been my go-to. I always have it in my car. I wanted to bring it in just for this video. Let me show y'all. I'm literally just about to contour, highlight, and really just bring everything together right now. So, let's get into it. So I'm gonna go back into my Fenty Beauty spray. And I'm going to contour again. So we were just talking about everything really. Like that first time that we met, we talked about everything it seemed like. I just got off work at maybe 7 or 8. I literally was talking to him until the restaurant closed at 2 in the morning. So about 5 hours I was just sitting there talking to him. And mind you, he did not come by himself. Like he came with his friend, like I said, who was pointing at me. And his friend waited that whole time while he was talking to me like, it wasn't until after we got together, he told me, old boy was like, come on, get her number, let's go. Like, I'm ready to deal. Like, he told me he never just really sat and just talked to us, you know, for that long. I guess I was kind of special, you know? Y'all, it seems like I've been in a lot of relationships, but I've only been in three relationships. And they've always been for a long period of time. If you guys haven't watched my last video of my last relationship status update, I'm still single. It's been like a year and a half now, but it feels like almost a year and a half. It's like a little over. To be honest, y'all, from that last time that I updated you when I said that I popped up on him, it wasn't over that last time. Let me pause the story. Let's get into this highlight. So I'm going to go into my Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Moscow Mule and Ginger Binge. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. And I'm going to put a little bit up here. And I literally just use both of it like this. Put it in the middle of my nose. Y'all, this smells good too. And I highlight above my brow bone right here. If you guys haven't watched my natural beat makeup routine, this is when I started doing that. I'm literally almost done with my face. But like I was saying, I know that I had told y'all I was done with oh boy when I had first popped up over there and found out what I had found out. But we were still communicating because you know what? Guess what? Nigga popped up in LA, okay? He was not taking no for an answer. So we had dated for like a couple more months i decided to give him another chance it wasn't no particular reason why i broke it off for for real for real this time i just realized like i don't want to do this i don't want to be waiting around for no nigga 
okay? Not anymore. I started out my love life early for a reason so I can know what to expect with these guys. And now that I know what to expect, this is why I'm single, okay? And that is totally fine. I'm still in the journey of trying to find myself and finding out what I really, really want, honestly. Because I'm only 24 years old. I have time to figure things out. I'm not in any rush. Find love. I'm gonna let love find me, okay? So that is my full Fenty face, y'all. Ooh, I like it. Y'all should be a makeup artist damn near, okay? Get into it, get into the eyes. I was contemplating whether or not I need a liner, but honestly, I don't even need a liner, okay? Get into this side, boom. Get into this side, boom. Full Fenty face, her. If you guys like this video, if you guys want me to do more of this get ready with me story time type of vlogs, make sure you guys leave a comment below. Thumbs up this video if you guys like this video. I love you guys so much. And I promise you guys, I'm not just saying that because you guys are my subscribers and you guys are watching now. You guys really give me motivation just to make more vlogs because I make these vlogs to inspire others. Share my story because I know that a lot of y'all can relate to me and relate to the stuff that I've gone through. So I'm going to just continue doing what I got to do. We are on the road to 15K, so make sure you guys go smash that subscribe button and join the May Baby family to keep up with my vlog make sure you guys smash that notification bell thank you May Baby so much for watching my vlog I love you guys so 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 much so much let me just stop okay because this video will go on forever if I tell y'all how much I love y'all okay thank you May Babies for watching I love you guys and I will see you May Babies next vlog yeah.